Dakota Kai, Malcolm Bivens, Dexter Loomis among 10 WWE NXT releases. Bobby Lashley falls out of ring after rope breaks at WWE House Show. Alexa Bliss just waiting on the call to return to WWE TV. Bret Hart only has a merchandising deal with WWE. Cody Rhodes admits he added to the tribalism between AEW and WWE fans. Plus, lots more. Hey there everyone, it's Denise Salcedo and we got tons of news to hop into here today. So we're kicking things off with the biggest story and it is that we have some brand new WWE NXT releases. Eight wrestlers, a manager, and a referee have been released by WWE as part of a set of NXT roster cuts. Dakota Kai, Malcolm Bivens, and Dexter Loomis are among those who were released by WWE today. The releases were first reported by Fightful. Fightful reports that WWE asked Bivens to re-sign with the company this February, but Bivens made it clear that he didn't want to do so. Bivens was the manager of the NXT Diamond Mine faction. Dakota Kai was a two-time NXT Women's Tag Team Champion, holding the titles with Raquel Gonzalez both times. Kai worked several WWE dark matches in 2021 and one dark match this January, but she was never called up to the main roster. Harlan was an offensive lineman for the University of Central Florida before signing with WWE. He made his NXT debut last October and was paired with Joe Gacy. Over the past couple of months, Harlan didn't appear on television and was no longer part of Gacy's act. In storyline, Loomis was Indy Hartwell's husband in NXT. Hartwell and Loomis and Parada and Duke Hudson were involved in a storyline where Hartwell and Parada debated who the hottest couple in NXT was. I really feel that they dropped the ball on Dakota Kai. I think that they could have done so much more with her. She should have been on the main roster a long time ago. Um, what did you guys think of the NXT releases? Go ahead and let us know in the comments section below. But now let's go ahead and hop into our next story. Bobby Lashley took a fall out of the ring at Thursday's WWE house show in Newcastle after the top rope broke during his match. Lashley was apparently okay after taking the fall. As he finished the match, McIntyre won the bout. Alexa Bliss, who hasn't appeared on WWE TV since February's Elimination Chamber pay-per-view in Saudi Arabia, was recently approached for an interview by street journalist Adam Glenn outside of an airport. When asked when we can expect to see her back in the ring, Alexa Bliss said that she's hoping to return to WWE TV soon. Bliss said she's 100% healthy and has been ready to wrestle since before Elimination Chamber. According to a report from our own Dave Meltzer, AEW is under the impression that Hart could not appear for them based on an agreement they believed he had with WWE. Bret Hart has since said his only deal with WWE is for merchandise. While AEW previously believed that Hart was not legally able to appear for them, it's now not clear if that is actually the case or not. As of last week, Bret Hart had not been contacted by AEW about appearing at Double or Nothing for the finals of the Owen Hart Foundation Tournament. Owen's widow, Dr. Martha Hart, will be on hand for the show. WWE has announced that a new Broken Skull Sessions episode with Rhodes appearing as Austin's guest will premiere next Friday. It will be available on Peacock in the United States and the WWE Network everywhere else. Cody Rhodes appeared on After the Bell with Corey Graves and spoke about having contributed to the tribalism among amongst wrestling fans. The last shows I had done before making this WWE return, I'm taking little fun pot shots and talking smack, which is what wrestlers do. I think sometimes the fans attach themselves to those statements and forget that we are in the realm of entertainment. But I added to the tribalism myself, so I can't necessarily get mad at it when I see it. Well, this video was definitely stacked with lots of news. Go ahead and let us know what you thought about all of this in the comment section below. On top of that, do not forget to give this video a like, subscribe to the channel, and I will see you on my post show, Speak Now Pro Wrestling.